Happy birthday, World Wide Web. You're almost 25 years young. On March 12, 1989, Sir Tim Berners-Lee wrote the paper that would lead to the web's creation. The internet had been around for years, but the web is what allowed regular folks to take advantage of the technology. So how did Americans respond as the web grew up? First, let's head down memory lane. In 1983, 10% of Americans said they owned a computer. And among those owners, almost half said it wouldn't be all that great to use computers for sending messages. Our 1983 selves seem pretty naive, huh? Well, it also seems they predicted the pitfalls of online shopping back when Amazon was still just a river. Seven in 10 computer owners in 1983 agreed that using a computer to shop meant it'd be, quote, too easy to buy too many things that aren't in the family budget. Mm hmm Fast forward to 1995. According to the Pew Research Center, 42% of Americans had still never heard of the internet. But they were already getting attached to their tech. A majority said it would be hard to give up their computer. And so time marched on, along with use of the internet. Yep, 1 in 10 people still aren't online. But today the web is the number one technology people are loath to give up, according to Pew Research. Now we all know that the World Wide Web can be a wild west of behavior, but a majority of those surveyed said the internet is good for strengthening relationships. This positivity extends across all demographics, men and women, rich and poor, young and old. Most feel it's been a good ride on the information superhighway. David Botti, BBC News, Washington.